What's up everyone, Nathan coming at you with another tutorial. Here at Stealthy Wood, we don't always have the staff available to cover our live chat channel 24-7. That's why we've decided to take advantage of another feature of our Odoo database, chatbots. So what exactly is a chatbot? A chatbot is a program designed to mimic an actual conversation with a live human. Using a pre-written set of questions, answers, and messages, a chatbot can guide visitors through a series of steps, the same way your support team would. Let's look at how easy it is to customize a chatbot for my Stealthy Wood support team using Odoo. First, we want to make sure we have our live chat enabled on our help desk team. We should already have it configured for the customer care since we set it up earlier, but let's go ahead and make sure. To do that, we're going to click configuration and then help desk teams, and then we're going to select our customer care team. Now, when we scroll to the channel section, we can see that the live chat has already been enabled. Great. Now, before I can set up the live chat channel, I have to ensure that we have a chatbot built. So let's go ahead and click on configure chatbots. As you can see, we have a list of current chatbots in the system. These come automatically configured with the live chat app, which is a nice touch. Let's see what an existing chatbot looks like so we can figure out how we want our script to look. We can see that the bot starts a conversation with a general greeting. Here we go, help is on the way followed by a question with a two specific answer option. Then depending on how the user responds, the bot will respond with a pre-routed follow-up response. In other words, each step in the chatbot's dialog is prompted by the visitor's answer to a previous question. For example, if the customer replies that the nature of their issue was due to an administrative question, then the bot will reply with, to start with, do you have a customer reference? Now to add a step in the script, I can click add a line. Then this pop-up window appears. Here I can input the message I want the bot to say. This is also where I select what kind of step this is. And the only if field lets me set conditions that should precede this step. If this step should be triggered by an earlier message, then I would choose that here. So let's type a message, thank you. And we're going to go ahead and leave the step type as text. And let's leave the only if field blank. So if the answer will be included in the response, no matter what the customer chooses. Now let's look at the other step types available. When I choose question, a new set of fields appear. Here I can configure a set of response options for visitors to select from when answering a question about the chatbot. There, I can also space to include links associated with each selection. Now, if we notice, we also have a email type and a phone type, which allows me to capture a visitor's contact information. This is especially useful for lead generation. Now, if we select this again, we can see there's a forward to operator option. This is a great feature to use if you want your chatbot to work alongside with your existing team. You can also have the bot ask qualifying questions while the visitor waits for a live chat operator to become available. Not only does this save time for your team members, but it can also prioritize their workload and customer inquiries. And if we select this once again, we have free input. The free input options with and without multi-line lets visitors type in anything they want, which will be then saved in the conversation history. This other option, create lead, allows you to create a lead in the CRM application from a live chat conversation. All the information from the conversation is added to the lead, so your sales team can pick up right where you left off. Then the final type, we have create ticket, which allows the chatbot to funnel conversations directly into a ticket from your help desk team. Once this option is selected, you are prompted to choose a specific help desk team, in this case, customer care. When a visitor reaches this step, a ticket will also be created and the conversation will be added to the ticket description so the team member can reference it. You can also drag these steps to change the order just by dragging and dropping it. While you are working through the script steps and wondering how it will look for your visitor, you can also scroll up and use the test button here. Clicking that allows you to walk through the conversation. Okay, so we have our script and now we have our channel. Let's put it all together and see this chatbot in action. 
here on our live chat channel form, we've already added live chat to the help desk URL. But now we want to add our chat bot as well. So to do that, all we have to do is click on our slash help desk rule and make sure that the help desk bot is selected in the chat bot field. Now, if I tick the checkbox here, enable only if no operator, this bot will only start talking to my visitor if none of my team members are available. If I want to take advantage of that forward to operator step, then I'll leave this setting off. All right, this looks good. So I'll click save. And why don't we see this chatbot that we've built in action? For that, I'm going to hop over to a new browser and pretend I'm a Stealthy Wood customer visiting our website. When I go to the help page, the chatbot will start talking to me. Let's say I have an administrative question. So we're going to click on, I have an administrative question. And yes, I do have my customer reference. So I'm going to click yes. And then type in my reference. The chatbot is asking about my issue, which I'll go ahead and say I was overcharged on my invoice. So I'll type in overcharged on invoice. I'll then give them my email address because I would like to have my confirmation of my ticket sent to me. So I'll go ahead and type Nathan at test.com. And there we go. The bot has created a ticket for me. That was easy. Let's pop back over to our database to see how Odoo recorded this ticket on the back end. In the Help Desk app, all you have to do is click the Tickets button on the Customer Care team. And then here, I can see the new ticket from the website visitor. If I look here, I can see the customer's email address. And I can see the entirety of the chat logged in the description down below. And right over here in the chatter, I can see that a confirmation email will be sent to the customer. And it's that simple. Adding a chatbot to your website is a fast and effective way to streamline communication between your team and your customers. And now that we have seen firsthand how easy it is to configure, you can have your new chatbots running up in no time. Thanks for watching and happy chatting.